nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to TFW Roundtable Podcast, Texas' most powerful and entertaining podcast. Bringing you the best in entertaining interviews from the industry's top music entertainers, sports athletes, and much more. So grab a seat and a cold one and watch, listen, and enjoy. And now, here is your host, Ruben Campos. for Powerhouse. Um, I'm a graduate from Mansfield Timberview, went to state championship there. I'm also a graduate from Rice University, getting two degrees in statistics, of course, analytics. I um, want to thank Tiny very much for all the things he has done for me, and go Powerhouse. Justin Hollins here, Super Bowl champ, LA Ram. Been training with Coach Tiny since I was in the seventh grade. If you're in the DF dub and you need some work, you want to go work out or anything, you want to make it, go hit up Coach Tiny at Powerhouse. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to DFW Roundtable Podcast. And what you just saw is just a little snippet of what this gentleman right here has done for some of our youth uh, out there pertaining to sports. Um, so without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce him. We all know him. He's a good friend of mine as Coach Tiny. Coach Tiny, welcome to the show, Coach. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. I appreciate you bringing me on this special um, podcast you're doing. It's been a long time, and it's good seeing you. Good to see you, Coach. It definitely has been a long time. Uh, so, so happy to talk back to you. It's been a couple of years since we've spoken and truly an honor, Coach, to have you. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I, I, we go back to uh, youth football. Uh, so I know you since then, Coach. And then I know you from a personal level because you personally train my son as well. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, along with some of those athletes. And like I told everybody there, Coach, that's just a little snippet because if I was to make a video of everybody that you trained that has succeeded, yeah. Coach, it, it'd be too long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the number God, man. Hey, number God. Amen, Coach. So uh, for those that don't know, and everybody knows him as Coach Tiny in DFW, uh, Coach is well-established and well-known. He runs a fantastic gym uh, in Arlington, Texas. Um, but with that being said, Coach, uh, let's, let, uh, we've got viewers from everywhere, Coach. Um, and uh, so let's, let's give our viewers a little bit of background on Coach Tiny. Uh, so uh, where are you originally from, Coach? Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Gotcha. Motor City. Born and raised. Yup, Detroit, Michigan. All right, Coach. Okay. Played, played high school football and then obviously um, got to play some college ball as well, right, Coach? Where did mm -hmm. you, you do your college ball at, Coach? College ball. First, I went to University of Houston, played under legendary Jack Party and Bill Yeoman. Um, left there. We got on probation, and I ended up going to play for the great, the GOAT, Eddie Robinson at Grambling. Wow. Wow. Now, I got to see a coach personally, but uh, just want to share out there. Uh, I got to see a couple of those those rings you had, and those are phenomenal, man. Uh, you got to get you a couple of rings out there, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then Love you were heart. from from there. You were blessed, coach, because you uh, you're one of the few uh, to not only mm -hmm. play college ball, but to get to make it to the pros as well. Right. Yeah, I played under um, – first, I went to New York Giants, played with um, Bill Parcells, Bill Belichick, and a lot of great – Sean Payton, a lot of great coaches, a lot of great players. And then uh, Belichick got the head coaching job at Cleveland, and I went to Cleveland with Belichick. Coach, you played for the greatest coaching crew that ever existed. That 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 Bill Parcells coaching group yes. has gone off to, to be the greatest coaching staff ever. Yes. I mean, and it's sprinkled down to the little people like me. <laughs> well, 
Well, uh, man, I tell you what, man, uh, truly a blessing. And I believe uh, you were you were mentioning to me uh, you you got injured, right, Coach? Yes, I tore my ACL, MCL on my on my knee. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Well, you at least you got uh, you got to spend your time in the NFL, Coach, and uh, use that experience to good use, Coach, because. Yes. Um, when I when I met you, Coach, you came in to to help out, and uh, defense was a specialty, um, mm-hmm. and uh, you were a defensive coordinator. I, I was running the offense, and that team was mm-hmm. unstoppable, Coach. But yeah. um, the way you were able to connect with the kids, Coach, was was mm-hmm. phenomenal. Uh, what do you attribute to that, Coach? I mean, how, how do you manage to to be able to have such a good connection with with the kids? Um. I got a kid at heart. I'm a kid at heart. I'm a big kid. I'm a big six nine, three hundred pound kid, and uh, I know where they've been and I know where I've been. So it was easy. It was just a. I think everything we go through in our life is not just not about uh, thinking you being hurt, but really you being a blessing, so you can be ready for God. What God has for you in in, in the future, and Oof. a lot of these kids, I see what they going through, and I've been there, and I've done that. Yeah, and that's why my story is still is still standing, still going. I'm not done. This I, I got a lot to do. I want to build three more gyms. I, I'm not finished. I, I mean, I'm putting it out there. I know a lot of times people say you got to be careful what your dreams is. You can't put it out there because people wish bad. Well, God did for me. Ain't nothing bad about it. I'm not worried about nobody stealing nothing. Amen to that, and I can attest to that as well, Coach. Uh, mm-hmm. You know because. Uh, you started from humbling beginnings and to where you're at now, man, is amazing. But yes. going back to going back to our kids, um, because, uh, again, um, you know, we untrusted our kid 100 percent with you. And I got to tell you, mm-hmm. he was able he was able to accomplish what he accomplished because of you. And and uh, the audience got to see a little bit of those snippets. Uh, some mm-hmm. of those kids, some of those kids have gone to go pro. Uh, and in fact, mm-hmm. Super Bowl winners. Right. And that's just one of yes. many more. Yes. Yes. I got Lee went to uh, Stanford. Um, average 20 some points a game, left Stanford with a degree, had another year left, went to Notre Dame, won national championship and got our masters. Amazing. That's the other thing I want to talk uh, a little bit about coach, because mm-hmm. uh, one of the things I really loved about you coach, when, when, when you were training Marco was that, uh, you were hard on him, not just to perform on the field, but off mm-hmm. the field as well. And, yeah. I got to tell you, Coach, one of the best things I've seen from your kids coming out of Powerhouse has been mm-hmm. the, the graduation rate uh, yes. out, of, out of college. Yes. You mind t- telling, uh, talking a little bit more about that, Coach? Because I think your numbers are phenomenal. Um, I think um, I put it out there to let kids know that you can't play sports for the rest of your life. I'm a living witness of that. Um, you couldn't tell me I wasn't going in the NFL at 6'9", 310 pounds, running 4'7". You couldn't tell me I wasn't going to make it. Um, but when an injury came, it put me in a place where I didn't want to be. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, I learned from it. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't cry about it. I just tried to be about it. Then when I found my passion, I ran from this at first. I didn't want to train no kids. Yeah. I was flipping houses. I was doing a little bit of everything. I mean, it ain't too much I haven't done. So, but everything I did landed for. Ended up is what for what I'm doing now, and that's working with these kids. So everything, everything what you think for bad, God time to turn around and make that thing for good. And that's what he did in my life. Yeah. I, I yeah, totally agree, coach. And I think uh, you know, one of the 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 biggest things I see is these kids aren't going just grabbing associate's degree. They're going out mm-hmm. there grabbing master's degree. They're yes. uh, we've got uh, we've got some student athletes that have got double degrees. Uh yes. you, we just saw one on video right there. Uh I mean, and that's a blessing, Coach, because to your point, it's great to go play pro and live your dream, but it's always good to have a backup plan, right? Yes, you got to have a backup plan. Got to, bro, because if not, you never won't. What, what my kids showed me that, you know, they can only they can be tough out there on the field, but they also got to be tough in that mind thing. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. Amen to that, Coach. Amen to that. Now, um, one, uh, let's go back a little bit, coach, and, uh, we'll go back to, uh, our, our coaching days. Um, mm-hmm. and I remember you telling me, coach, I'm about to open a gym, bring me Marco, let's start training. And mm-hmm. I, I remember going out there and, and it wasn't nothing special coach. It was a heart mm-hmm. knocks gym, but the athletes that came out of there was yes. just crazy coach. Yes. Now you've taken that gym coach. And been blessed to build another one. Talk to me a little bit about your new gym now, Coach. 
Uh, my new gym is almost 19,000 square feet. It's been empty over 30 some years. I built it during COVID. Um, I came from my old gym. It was just time for me to leave the gym. It, I've been there maybe 13 years. I, I outgrew it. You know what I'm saying? It was at a church, uh, $15 million yeah. church. And it was beautiful. It served its purpose. And, and I, it humbled me. Um, I made sure I took care of the yard, the land. I did what I had to do. And I just thank God rewarded me because I was faithful over a few. Yeah. That's what yeah. he did. He rewarded me. And I've been passing this gym. This, this used to be a bowling alley. I've been passing by for 13 years and didn't realize this is where I was going to end up. Well, I, I definitely want to invite everybody to visit your website, Coach, uh, and, mm -hmm. and take a look at the gym because this gym is just first class all the way through. Humongous space. Yeah. Uh, you got top of the line work work uh, work equipment from weights to mm -hmm. you name it, Coach. Um, yeah, so Vertimaxes, shoot machines. We got it all. Uh, and I got the tough tread, the $30,000 tread meal that goes uh, 40 miles an hour. I was just going to say that, and I've seen some kids get on that thing and, and yes. just go, Coach. Yes, I got a nine-year-old go 21 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. the, Nine hey, years old. The, the talent keeps coming, right, Coach? Yeah, yes. And I, and the scary, it's the scary part, I'm learning how to um, advertise because I've never been an advertised person. I let the kids right. speak for itself. Word of mouth. The kids, is the word of mouth. They're the best yes, advertisers you can get. But now – I have to do it professionally because the way my gym is. My gym is, when I say it's immaculate, it's nothing but a blessing. When you come in here and if you know me and you know my story, you're going to shed a tear for me because you know how beautiful it is. Agree. Agree, yeah. Coach. And I want everybody out there to also know that even though we're talking about student athletes out there, this gym's for everybody. You got step class. Yes. You got all sorts of class for everybody, right, Coach? Yes. We got step class. We got dance from kids. Ages six to adults for um, it's called the name of the dance team is Flawless Beauty. They've been with okay. me six years. So when I left, they left. Got it. You also had a basketball team too, Coach. Do you still do you still have your basketball team too? No, nah, we got basketball teams, but it's not powerhouse basketball team. Okay. Now we with John Lucas Elite. Last year we had the number one fourth grader and fifth grader team in the nation, Southern Assault. Uh, we got rid of the name, and now we with John Lucas Elite. Got and it. When I tell you, see my boys play, you're going to be like, oh, my God. Well, Coach, I remember being in that gym, in the old gym, uh, <laughs> watching some 7th and 8th graders just, like, yeah. with mouth open, yeah. right? And, yeah. and and now to see them in college ball and doing mm -hmm. what they're doing in college ball, Coach, and, that, and to, yeah. just to think, a good example of that, Coach, on our video, uh, we, we showed mm -hmm. uh, Hollins. Um, Mm -hmm. And he says, "Hey, I was Coach Tiny at, from, since the age of seven, and I remember you used to run him, Coach, out there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and, While and just, we practiced, I had him running around the field. <laughs> he was yep. tiny too. He yep. was tiny he was too. Slim. Yeah, call and, him slim. And look at him now, Coach. Super Bowl He's winning, six two fifty eight, and run a four 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 five forty. Playing for Freak the Rams. Nature. Yeah, Playing and for he, the Rams. And he got one of them too now, huh?" Yeah, he got that hardware. That's they got that big old Super Bowl ring on his finger. Yeah, and matter yeah. Of fact, when he won a Super Bowl, I called him and talked to him while he was in the locker room, and we had we talked about it. I said, "Bro, you gonna win? You gonna win a Super Bowl?" I saw it. I claimed it, and when I talked to him, man, it was it was a beautiful thing, man. It touched my heart, man. I, I really bet did. that is very touching, yeah. Coach, because to be there, like I said, since seven years old, all the way through. Mm -hmm. And uh, us parents know how much time it takes in the gym, yeah. right? And extra practices yeah. and stuff like that to 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 yes, get sir. your your kid to there. So we we're, mm -hmm. we're very grateful of the time and and so forth. Uh, one of the uh, the other thing too, coach, I I, I you know want to want to touch base on is the way you mentor these kids, coach. Uh, mm -hmm. And 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 really and truly, I'm trying to paint a picture here for everybody to truly understand how well rounded of a program you have, coach, because. Mm -hmm. We uh, unfortunately we had for those that live in a Dallas Fort Worth market, they know uh, we know about the shooting that happened in Mansfield. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, unfortunately, it was a student that went out there and shot some students and mm -hmm. uh, some some lives were lost. But, Coach, mm -hmm. you were the first one. And from my understanding, you're the only one that are, that mm -hmm. reached out and brought these kids in and gave yeah. them counseling and talked to them. You want to talk a little bit about that, Coach? Um, yeah, I felt in my heart that was something I needed to do. 
I want my, um, what I've done is I'm starting a program, a mentoring program called Building Greatness Now. Um, it's for young men and, and fathers. Really, it's for me. It's for me, really, because I need it. And these kids, what makes me go, they what keeps me going. And it's important to me to be able to reach out and touch them and help them any way possible because I have somebody that helped me growing up as a kid. My coach is the one who saved me. Amen so to it that, coach. It's important for me to do it. So I have to do it. There's other organizations out here that's not doing what they're supposed to be doing, but that's okay. I just got to make sure mine's is right, and, and I want to help these kids as much as possible. But yet at the same time, don't think it ain't helping me because it is. Yeah, and I tell you, uh, those are tough times, and that's when uh, somebody needs their coach uh, besides mm -hmm. the parents, right, to talk to. And uh, you, you came through. Now, the other thing, too, that I love about you, Coach, is you keep them grounded and uh, yes. keep, keep, them, keep them attached to that faith, right? Uh, God yes. first. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Uh, that's one of the big, huge, huge factors uh, for me as well. And it's no wonder you've had such a good success. Now, um, I know there's too many, Coach, but right off the head, off your off top of your head, can can – can you run through some names and where they're at and what they've done and so forth as far as your student athletes, Coach? Um, I got Timberview State Championship, Chris Mullins, Isaac. Chris Mullins at Rice University, just got two degrees. Now right. he's working on his master. Isaac got his degree at Oklahoma State. He played with Cade Cunningham, and now he's um, at Ohio State doing his fifth year, and he got his degree. Um, Lily Thompson. All American in my book, um, Stanford, Notre Dame. She has her, her her master's and her her degree at Stanford. She got a degree at Stanford, a master's at Notre Dame. Wow. She can pick whatever she want to do. Wow. Justin Hollis, my Super Bowl champ. He has his degree at Oregon University. Um, many many kids. I got kids at Henderson State. Play volleyball. My baby, Janelle. Janelle is an All-American at Texas State Volleyball, working on her fifth year, working on her master's, and got her degree. I got so many. I, my ratio for degree is probably 98%. Yep. Not only that, Coach, but uh, some record holders as well. I think you got one of the yes. top volleyball players, too, as far as kills is concerned, right? Yes. She's going to break the record tonight for the wow. second year in a row. Wow. Yeah. Tonight. Yep. Yes, she's breaking a record tonight. She All averaged right. over 25, 30 kills a game. Yeah. And the list goes on and on because, um, yes. again, Coach, I, I, uh, it's just too many to mention, right? You, you've had so yes. much success, and uh, but, yes. but the, the pedigree of success has been there. Um, mm -hmm. a, a, and now to have you at an expanded gym, um, it's mm -hmm. just truly, truly, truly a blessing, Coach. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for some of those parents, Coach, that – I mean, we go back to to Pee Wee football, right? Um, mm -hmm. Wanting to get their kids into football, coach. Uh, what do you recommend as far as because some parents will say, "I don't want to start them too early. I think uh, they shouldn't lift their weight." I, I I know, I already know because I already went through it. What you rec you know what mm -hmm. you've done, but what can you tell that parents is, "Hey, this is a, for a starter. This is the way we start," and 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 give them some advice for someone like uh, that that's got a kid just starting out. Well, coach, to me. I have kids at five and six year olds that starts off. They do no weight training. Only thing they do is conditioning, their own body weight, jumping boxes, running, conditioning. You have to build their heart up because they got to be able to take it. Because some kids get scared. Like when I push them and make them run, they get scared and their eyes get big. I'm a coach. My heart is beating fast. Yeah. You know, you're training your heart. You're making yeah. your heart. Your heart never been that fast, so therefore it doesn't know how to react. Right. But I train my kids and I, I push them, but I, I don't start off pushing them. I let them go slow. They, a lot of them say I, 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 I fool them a lot of times because they think, oh, this is it. This is it. Then after a week later, we dial it up. Right. That's why I'm not worried about nobody stealing my work after the, what I do because God put something special in me where I can try, I can look at you and know what you need. Oh, yeah. And I've seen it before. I've seen it mm -hmm. before. Um, I've seen you come across some kids. Um uh, Six four, six five, three twenty, and mm -hmm. and you told and you told me, coach, he's lazy. He ain't gonna make it. Mm -hmm. uh, he's yep. lazy. He got the size, but he ain't got the heart. Yeah. He's he's got to have the heart. And coach, you were right. Uh, you're right. Yep. Uh, you, you're able to read him real quick, and and that's a good lesson for everybody to learn out there. Is size mm -hmm. isn't everything. It, it's right. it's what is what you have in here. It's um, what's in your heart. 
Yes, sir. And that and that's a good lesson for everybody else. How about for those in high school, coach, uh, getting ready to come into freshman and want to escalate their game, coach? What do you, what, what do you, what's your best recommendation? Recommend is get them a good trainer. A yes. Good, um, skill coach. If they play basketball, um, a good conditioning and weight training coach. What I do is I give them some extra. I do weight training, but I also give them conditioning. I just think conditioning is very important on a kid because if you play basketball and you can't get up and down that court, you can't compete. Because all these kids today, they're balling. Oh, they're yeah. Balling all out today. We got kids out there that's out this world that worked so hard and they put the work in and you can tell I got kids seven, eight years old and you already know they're going to make it to the next level. You can see. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can. We, and we, yeah. me and you, me and you have had, a, have had a couple of those in our teams too, that you, yes. you just know, yes. you just know. Yes. Uh, so, so yeah, you can't, you really can't tell, but it's important coach, like you mentioned, but unfortunately, as you all know, coach, and this is what I want to educate everybody out there. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. there, there are those that just want numbers and they bring you in and don't give you the one-on-one -on -one attention. Mm -hmm. it's, re it's very important that you get to a trainer that knows what they're doing because you, you're yes, paying sir. good money to, to, to yes, advance sir. your, your kid, right? It, so it's very important yes, that you, you meet with that trainer first, find out mm -hmm. what he's all about, what he's going to be doing before you even commit anything. Because mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that just want bodies in there. They don't That's care right. too much about That's them, right? right? One thing about Texas they're good at, the parents here take sports so serious. Yes. You can look at the high school fields and know they take it serious. Yes. My high school didn't look nothing like the stuff they got here. Yeah. But they take it so serious. So you have to be in, make sure they want to know what credentials, do you, what do you bring to the table? How can you help my son? Right. There's some coaches out there that never never played ball. Yeah. And I think that's great for Pee Wee. But when right. you get to that next level and you're trying to go to that next level, I want somebody who's been at that next level to train my right. child. That's just yeah. how I am. Coach, and that's a good thing you mentioned too, because I definitely want to talk about that a little bit because we're we're we, you know, we saw it in the news here in Dallas, Pee Wee football. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we got to see a little bit about when, when we were doing our thing, uh, mm -hmm. with, with youth football, right? So there's a lot of good mm -hmm. and there's a lot of bad, and you could tell who's coached before and who's run a professional organization versus right. those that don't, right. the way the kids act, the way the coaches act, the way the parents mm -hmm. act, a good coach is not going to stand for a parent acting up in the stands, right? The coach is going to bring them no. down, kick them back out, right? Kick um, them out the game. Yeah, we had zero tolerance for that. Um, and there's yes. no need for that. Um, but it's a good lesson for a parent that if you see that around you, maybe it's not a good fit for for you mm -hmm. uh, or your kid. Right? Mm -hmm. You might want to look for uh, for something else. Okay. The other thing, the other thing you mentioned, coach, is that middle. Once you get to that middle age, ten to twelve, mm -hmm. uh, you better get your kid to somebody that's played played the game, and mm -hmm. it's going to teach them something because that's when it becomes critical, won't it? Yes. And, and yes. I think that the junior and senior league uh, for youth football, to me, are the most key two divisions mm -hmm. because that's that's when they're soaking in everything. And mm -hmm. and if you're not teaching them everything, they're going to come in to, to a kid that either played for a team like yourself and, right. and, and try to compete. But and they, there's no competition because that kid's way ahead. Right. Right. We had some super kids in our Pee Wee League time. Yeah, I we mean, did. We had kid. We, at one time, we probably had over 15 D1 athletes on that team. Well, believe it or not, Coach, I was thinking about that today. Yeah, we started counting, and we uh -huh. did, Coach. Yeah. 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 We had about 15 D1 athletes, and we won everything. Super Bowl, Arena Super Bowl. We won it all because we, we put that work out there, and we gave the kids something to, 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 to want. Our kids wanted to win. They, yeah. they, they, wouldn't, they didn't accept losing, and we right. didn't accept it. And, and I did. You see what I did? Uh, I, I, my parents got mad at me because – Halftime, I'm running the kids. Yeah. And they looking at me, coach, we're winning. Why are you running the kids? It's a process. I'm trying to get them ready for playoffs. We yeah. want to know, and I'm running them halftime. Yeah. They or already knew what it was. And the or, kids that took to it, what they say, Donovan, like Donovan Data from Port. What yeah. do you say? Y'all know what it is? Let's line up. Yeah. You already yeah. know what we finna do. Yeah. So Those kids are, I just yeah. I just prepared them for that. That's all I did. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, coach. But overall, when you look at it, uh, there's probably 15 or 16 in that team that uh, yes, played D1 ball. Yeah, great kids. Yeah, yes, uh, great one kids. of my one of my biggest memory, coach, because we we experimented with arena football, 
And mm-hmm. arena football is a, di- a whole different league versus regular football, r- different rules, everything, everything. We went in yes. the, we went in as underdogs uh, to play against mm-hmm. some of uh, South Lake and these teams at mm-hmm. uh, our powerhouses that never played arena before. And we just spanked mm-hmm. them. Um, spanked them. Yeah. So uh, great memories of that coach. Uh, can't, can't yes. forget about that. Uh, so moving forward, coach, um, I guess, uh, is there any names uh, that you can mention for folks to kind of look for kids that you got playing out there, whether it's uh, in, in, in high um, school that, I Hey, keep an eye. Kids. I got two kids. That's right now. Point guards for summit high school. One name is Deuce calling day. His name is David. Um, he's committed to UTEP and I got Frank. Both of them are point guards at Summit. When I tell you these two kids, I sent some video on how they train. They go hard. They great athletes, great kids, great personality. Coach, they, I'm they're going to do great things. I, I'm going to go on a wild card here. I bet some if you got two kids in that same team, I bet they're going to go far. Mm-hmm. Yep, <laughs> yep, they're going to go far. They, when I say they some great kids, man, they likes me every time they come through the door. It likes me up. Are they seniors, coach, or are they juniors? Yes, they both seniors. They okay. both seniors. Okay. And then I got another kid that's a freshman. His name is King. King's a special kid to me. Um, he means a lot to me. Um, he got a chance to do something great. I look forward to him doing something great in the future. What's he playing, coach? Basketball or football? He plays basketball. Plays basketball. Okay. Point guard. He's at Trinity Christian right now. Okay. Great school, yeah. man. Great school. Yeah. yeah. How look, about for I'm football? I'm looking for him to do big things. Uh, for How- football... Hmm. I got a kid named Noel, offensive tackle at Grace Prep. Woo! Oh, yeah. When I tell you he, this boy is a monster. He's a beast. He got what it takes to be great. He may be six four, three ten, and can move I, like a, a a running back. I was just gonna say, I bet he's fast too. Yes, great ass. He just had major knee surgery, and now he's back playing already. What uh, what grade is he in, coach? He's a junior. He's a, so he's got very one more smart, year. Intelligent kid. Yeah, he can go wherever he wants. He's very smart, very intelligent. That is awesome. And and ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're talking about. Um, and and some of the things coach looks forward to every year is is doing that, is building them, getting them ready, mm-hmm. and then and then building them to get them ready for the next step as well. The biggest yeah. thing I see too, coach, as a as a big a tribute to yourself is that you know what it takes. Because you've you've already done it so many times to tell the high school kid, mm-hmm. this is what you got to do if you want to get noticed, if you want to get that scholarship, this is what you got to do, yes. uh, and and it, and that and that formula has been very successful for you, obviously, because I mean you've got a bunch of of, of students, but it's got to take that special kid to listen to you, right, yes. and and take yes. the advice. What I do is I train my kids like I was trained. I'm not doing nothing different than what I did growing up as a kid. And I had all great coaches. All my great, all my coaches are Hall of Famers from wow. high school all the way up. So therefore, everything that I learned from them and what they did for me, I use that same same concept because it works. It shows that it works. Yeah. Amen to that, Coach. Amen to that. Well, hey, wanna 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 do a couple of shout outs real quickly, Coach, to, to make sure uh, if you want to share your Facebook or your phone number where people can get a hold of you, Coach. I, mm-hmm. I, one quick question too before we do that, Coach. I know you had a phenomenal. You would put phenomenal uh, camps together. Are you still doing those mm-hmm. uh, football camps, Coach? Yes, we're. I'm trying to my, right now. I just did a camp with um, South Lake, and right now them kids they six, they fifth or sixth grade. They're six or seven and zero. Oh. I wow. got them already kicking, doing the offensive line, doing kicking. Can't nobody beat them. Yeah. When I tell you they out there playing ball, I went to go see them play the other day and was on the sideline with them. Ain't nobody going to beat them. They're doing great. And, That's awesome. Um, I want to do more camps because I, I have turf in my my, my yes. uh, building now. So yes. I want to do more camps and stuff so we can do stuff and, and just take it to the next level. So, okay. So that's okay. our goal. We're going to have a lot of camps going in the future. It will be my pleasure to give out my phone number and uh, my website. My website is getting built, so we're still working on that. What's your Facebook, Coach? My Facebook is Tiny Powerhouse. There you go. Tiny powerhouse. The 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 thing about it, ladies and gentlemen, that you're going to enjoy is that coach puts actual video of training sessions. So you'll get to mm-hmm. see some of that specialty training that he's talking about. And you'll also get to uh-huh. see that beautiful, beautiful gym that he's got. Um, yes. And then and I know you'll also what you do a very good job, coach, is follow your athletes. Um, mm-hmm. There. 
Yeah, I saw I saw some pics where you actually flew to Syracuse and yes, and, my and watched, baby girl, Nia yes. Wilson. That's like my daughter. That's my heart. Yeah, and that was yeah, awesome, Coach. That I, I can imagine for 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 uh, for a player to have their coach there uh, yes. support them in that, yes. that was that was pretty yes. special. Yeah, she was homesick and she needed to see some familiar face. That's all. Yeah, That's I want to go see my baby girl, and yeah. she's doing great, isn't she? She's doing great. Point guard. She got a new coach. Her second year. Um, she's just she's just a hell of an athlete. She's a good yeah. girl. Uh, uh, a student. She got a great support system in her mom, and and she's going to do big things. She's going to be great. She's going to always be a part of my life. Amen to that. No, and and she's she's a heck of an athlete. So I've got yes. no doubt that she's going to make some waves this year. Uh, yes, yes uh, come, she will. Coming in as a point guard. Uh, so again, uh, tiny uh, is it tiny powerhouse? Tiny Co- powerhouse. Um, you'll see a lot of stuff on my page on my um, what you call. Well, let me see if I can show some show you some of it. On my other phone, um, this is what's on the page. There you go. It's got the picture of the lion on there. Yep, that's my page. And my phone number, if you want to get in contact with me, is 214-232-6306. It's on my page. It's on my page right down there. Tiny tiny Powerhouse. It got the phone number on there. So it's 214-232-6306. That is awesome, Coach. That is awesome. Well, Coach, continued success and blessings, man. Uh, once again, thank you so much for for joining the show, Coach. Uh, I, I, I hadn't seen you in a, in a bit. It's been a while. I, I definitely want to, absolutely, Coach, I, I absolutely want to stop by there, take market to see you, man, at that new gym, um, and uh, and get to visit with you and some of the kids there for sure, man. You lost uh, hearing? I got you. I got you. I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah, somebody call. Somebody call. Okay. Yeah, I was just basically saying that uh, I want to I want to head out there and and take Mark with me to go visit with yes, you and, and see the yes, gym. Sir. You guys, come on! I bring the family out, man. I love you guys and I appreciate you, bro. I'm proud of them boys. They Same here, Coach. Time. Yes, sir. Super super grateful for for your time uh, and, and everything else, Coach. Uh, any words of wisdom, Coach, that you could uh, that you can you give our folks out there? Uh, words of wisdom is uh, just keep your faith, man. Keep your heart right and. Uh, put God in everything you do. My partners, uh, I got a shout out to my partner, Brandon Fields. He's my skill coach and my partner. He's like a son to me. Um, he's just, he's my all American, uh, volleyball player, Janelle brother. Oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's my boy. He played for the G league, just retired and played in the NBA, he just retired and went to Bowie. Um, just got to keep your heart right and put God in everything you do, man. And, Keep the faith, and, and if you want to do something, don't don't give up on it. Just don't give up on your dreams. If you have dreams, uh, make them come true because they can. You got to realize it's a spirit out there that that is in the atmosphere that you can do anything. We're called to be successful. We're called to be great. Yeah, you just got to walk in it, and you got to make sure you got the right person on your team. It's so much important, man, because sometimes you can get the wrong. The devil will throw you off any way he can. Yes. So you have to be right and just just keep the faith and you can do all anything you put your heart into. Amen, coach. And well said as always, man. Uh truly a blessing to have you, man. Uh please stay with me. Uh don't 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 leave just yet. Just we just want to tell everybody hi uh or goodbye for now. But please, before I leave, I want to tell everybody out there, um, if you got a student, I don't care if it's volleyball, I don't care if it's um uh basketball, football, any type of sport. Soccer. Soccer. I got soccer players in here not running. <laughs> I was going to say, co- coach will train anything because the biggest thing you yeah. need is strength and, and agility, mm-hmm. uh, and coach can get you that. So, uh, coach, yeah. again, stay stay with me. We thank you again. Everybody, thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed the show. Please reach out to Coach Tiny. It'll be great to have you out there and ask uh, for a tour. Coach will be glad to give you a tour of the facility and tell you what his programs are all about. Ain't that right, Coach? Mm-hmm. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.